thanks everyone for being here. And it's always nice to meet everyone here online. And it's an honor for us in HIPS Indonesia to present to you the uh, what we have developing about uh, Jumpa Doctor. And here I am with my colleague, Ari. And yeah, okay. So uh, the point in this presentation is uh, we are trying to develop uh, EMR, like basic EMR. That's why we call it simplify EMR uh, with, uh, by using the H2 engine. Yeah, next. So basically in this uh, presentation, we will uh, present about what is Jumpa Doctor and what are the ecosystems involved and to be more detailed in the mobile and the doctor platform and as well as the DH2 to Satu Sehat. The Satu Sehat is actually the data exchange platform uh, newly in, imposed by a Minister of Health of Indonesia, which use a uh, fire and also medical standards uh, that should be used in any healthcare facilities in Indonesia. So there will be um, a mass for all the healthcare facility to connect to the data exchange platform called Satu Sehat. So let's move to the next slide. Okay, so uh, Jumpa Doctor, it's an Indonesian term actually, we can uh, call meet doctor or meet your physician. So since um, this Jumpa Doctor is uh, uh, not only one um, uh, application, it's uh, we call it ecosystem because it's involved in various application and uh, it's basically a medical electronic medical record that handle the management uh, that handle the health service we serve diagnosis and medicines uh, the core vision of the jumpa doctor is the we want to help any private health facilities because it's sometimes it's it uh, it's not affordable to to subscribe uh, emr which offered by uh, many vendors here in Indonesia. So that's why the, uh, our vision is we want to help uh, the private health facility to uh, use uh, or implement uh, electronic medical record. And at the same time, I, as I mentioned before, the MYH uh, Indonesia uh, imposed all the healthcare facility to use electronic medical records by 2023. And here uh, for the summary, the uh, Jumpa Doctor, we use DHS2 and you know, as a cord. So it will be in the middle to conduct everything. It's a brain, uh, previous slide first, Masaji, previous one, yeah. And also the Jumpa Doctor also will have facilities to manage uh, health service we serve and also the patient medical record. And now Jumpa Doctor, it's currently under development with the integration that I mentioned before. We use Fire for uh, to support to support the Indonesian health uh, government, the MH interoperability for health information, and at the and also as uh, as an additional information, uh, we use uh, several Reno technology uh, to create a web and mobile like uh, we use Node.js, React, and Platter. Next. Okay, so uh, this is why we called uh, Jumpa Doctor. It's not a single app, but this is an ecosystem by using uh, DH2 as a core element on this. So there, were, there is a Jumpa Doctor a web app. Uh, we, use, uh, we use it for um, managing the schedule, the service schedule, and also for the uh, medical record entry. And also, we also have um, Jumpa Doctor Mobile uh, that manage for the appointment or the booking service for healthcare facility. And uh, by that, we use also um, a middleware, the API bridge to uh, bridge between Doctor Web App and also uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile. And also, we use the API for uh, uh, standardized terminology such as ICD-10 and ICD-9. Maybe Mas Ari can all, can uh, elaborate more on the technical side of things, but I will continue to uh, Jumpa Dr. Admin. Here we can manage the service schedule. We can also the manage price because uh, in healthcare facility, they also need to 
even even it's a small practice it's a, a private uh, clinics for example it also needs uh needs to be electro in electronic uh, medical record so that's why uh, jumpa doctor wants to help them to implement this kind of service and uh and last one uh, we also um in the development of dh2 to such health platform which uh um act as a data mapper and interoperability layer for Jumpa Doctor to Satu Sehat, uh, which I mentioned before as uh, Indonesian Health Data Exchange Protocol. Next. Yeah, uh, this is the example of Jumpa Doctor Mobile. It's it's basically a, a Flutter and Firebase uh, mobile-based application. And this is integrate with the Jumpa Doctor DH2 uh, engine over API bridge and uh, of course the REST API and uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile. Uh, it's actually uh, it's as we call why we call simplified EMR because in this um, uh, user friendly um, mobile app, uh, uh, people or patients can access and order their healthcare service. Even they can do the virtual consultation. Uh, whenever and wherever they want. And for the authentication, Jumpa Doctor use uh, OTP authentication uh, by using phone number that um, actually make uh, Jumpa Doctor easier to use. Next. And for the doctor app, uh, we uh, built this uh, by using React That's and Node.js. Yes. Uh, that integrate Jumpa Doctor yes, to oh, engine okay. over API bridge and REST API. And also, uh, this uh, application uh, provides several features, like we can view list of patients here, list of patient medical records, and also even the schedule for health service. So I would like to highlight here because um, uh, maybe uh, maybe some uh, if uh, some medical background persona will uh, see this. Oh, why this is so uh, so uh, short, or the, why this is so simple? Because uh, this Jumpa Doctor, it's is uh, we focus on the private uh, doctor. So uh, every, uh, for example, the doctor want to uh, conduct the practice, we help them with these uh, tools. Uh, because uh, uh, as I mentioned before, it's imposed already by the government to use any uh, to use uh, um, electronic medical record for any kind of healthcare. Uh, facilities, including the private clinics or uh, private um, uh, GP, for example. Next. So uh, this is the uh, the one that my uh, my my colleague Ari will uh, elaborate more. But basically, uh, this is the green one. It's Satu Sehat logo. So all the healthcare facilities in Indonesia should connect to Satu Sehat, and Satu Sehat use uh, Fire as a a standard for uh, exchanging the data and also use ICD-9, ICD-10, SNOMED City, and LOWING for uh, the uh, medical terminology. So um, in terms of um, uh, transforming the data from our DHS2 to Satu Sehat, I will let uh, my colleague Ari to explain more about that. Go ahead, Ari. I'll stop here. Hello. Can you uh, hear me clearly there? Yeah, you're uh, Arbo. So uh, let me continue the presentation. Thanks, Masaldi, for the presentation first. So uh, what is this DHIS2 to Satu Sehat platform is? Uh, this is one of uh, the part of the Jumpa Doctor ecosystem that we built for uh, data integration or data, uh, data exchange between Jumpa Doctor or DHIS2 uh, with the Satu Sehat platform that they used uh, FIR data standard for exchange data. But uh, how the data flow from uh, this dual to Satu Sehat or FIR? So uh, from the DHIS2, uh, we have built one uh, custom application that uh, could be installed in uh, the the HIS2 uh, platform that uh, 
will provide some uh, some data exchange sample or template. So for uh, data exchange from this dua, we take from tracked entity instance, organization units, and events for uh, data exchange to satu sehat. So uh, before uh, data exchange uh, process uh, will do, uh, we should create some uh, data template or data exchange template that uh, will convert data JSON from the HIS2 to more simplify, JSON simplify that could be map or could be transform or convert to uh, fire or satu sehat uh, data JSON structure. Next, uh, this is the flow uh, for data mapping, data mapping flow from uh, the HIS uh, to JSON structure or like track entity instance, organization units and events uh, will convert to JSON simplify provided by uh, the HIS to, to fire backend, to satu sehat backend. And then from the JSON simplify, uh, the DHIS to backend, uh, to fire backend will convert the JSON simplify to fire or satu sehat JSON structure. So uh, this is some uh, UI in the, the this dua uh, the HIS2 platform, uh, the HIS2 data to satu sehat platform. So basically, there are uh, some feature or four features in this uh, custom application we have built, but this is under uh, still under development. Uh, the first feature is dashboard that view uh, how much data that successfully uh, sent to satu sehat and how much data that failed to send to satu sehat. And then uh, there are a feature named template here. So uh, the template will provide uh, how we create the data mapping scheme or data mapping template that will use to uh, map the DHIS2 data to uh, JSON Simplify that will use uh, by uh, DHIS2 backend. Uh, to send the data to, to Satu Sehat platform. So uh, this is the uh, how we use the uh, template scam that we create before in the feature uh, the template template features. So uh, for the mecha uh, for data sending mechanisms, we use uh, Q uh, mechanism in here. So from uh, from uh, template scam that we created before, uh, the let uh, the DHIS to uh, to fire platform or application will automatically map the uh, DHIS to JSON structure to JSON simplify uh, scam template like here before. So, and then one, uh, the last feature is settings here. Uh, this is just uh, the configuration for the this dua uh, application, two fire application. There are uh, configuration for uh, the DHIS2 to fire backend URL and uh, the status head fire L or uh, fire URL, the client ID and uh, the client secret to connect with the status head platform. So uh, this uh, overall for uh, the, the presentation, but let me uh, demo some uh, process in uh, Jumpa Doctor ecosystem for uh, from how patient uh, book, booking the, the service and until the this dua DHIS2 to, uh, to Satu Sehat will process the data. Uh, let me share some screen first for the mobile application. Uh, Ren, sorry, can I? Uh, I am joined with another another account here. Can I uh, present? Yeah, with... um, you have another account already in, or? Yep. I'm oh, sorry. What is the name?
I see him. Yep. Okay. All right. You should be able to present there as well. Um, and thank you, Zali, for answering question in the chat. So maybe this may be the QR. Yes, I can see your your mobile now. Yep, uh, for the mobile application, this is uh, this is how the application, the Jumpa Doctor mobile application look like. Uh, first, maybe we need to log in to the uh, to the application, we use phone number for uh, application here. Sorry. Need to put some uh, one time TP here. Okay, uh, this is the first page uh, in this Jumper of the Mobile look like. There are some uh, features here for, for the first section is. Uh, the uh, the type of the health service in here, like uh, general health service or COVID-19 test and some uh, health service, uh, another health service. For the test here, for the demo, uh, I will try to create some service here for myself. Uh, I need to put my, uh, uh, my condition uh, for the health service here. Like uh, just symbol maybe sick, and then next we choose uh, one of two type for the service. There are health uh, home care service, or we uh, the service we want to visit the health facilities. We try to uh, choose the health facilities uh, service. So we need to, after this booking created, uh, booking service created, we need to uh, come to health service uh, to receive the, the health services. We choose uh, the facilities, uh, let's say uh, this one, and choose the clinics, and then we choose the doctors. And next, uh, we choose the schedules uh, from the date we choose uh, this day and the the hour for the service the time sorry the time we choose the nine o'clock nine p.m. next so this is okay we have successful success, successfully create the whole booking service. So after this process was finished, uh, the first year booking service data will show in the, let me present one, uh, one page again. It's called for, uh, Jumpa Doctor. The, the doctor web uh, uh, the doctor web platform. So this is the sorry. 
let me use another another Chrome profile. So, uh, okay. Okay, uh, I will continue. So after uh, patients uh, book a service from uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile, the service will appear here in the, the left side here with uh, the show the queue entry in the, the left side. A doctor after uh, to receive, uh, to serve the patient for hold the service, a uh, doctor just click this service, one of the service and add some, uh, click the button for add uh, the health service data or uh, electronic medical record data. The first section is for uh, physical assessment for the patients, like uh, the general condition and the uh, vision, uh, the, the human vision systems and uh, et cetera here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, data entry here for uh, patient medical record. And also uh, the diagnosis uh, section. The, the diagnosis uh, uh, data, we use uh, ICD-10 standard. Like uh, we just put some uh, uh, diagnosis code and that provided by ICD-10 standard. We just choose uh, one of them and then uh, Add some notes like uh, 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 condition notes in here for data testing and just the add button and save the diagnosis. It will, uh, yep. So uh, after this uh, process uh, uh, finished, Dr. Help uh, ha has uh, entered the patient medical record by health service. We can uh, continue to send the patient data for the uh, medical record to Satu Sehat with uh, this DUA to Satu Sehat web application. Uh, we can use another here. Yep. Um, oh, sorry, I need to install some. Uh, let me go to the this platform first. Okay, uh, first maybe we need to install the uh, this DUA to Satu Sehat the web application first in this, this DUA application. Maybe we will uninstall the, the last one I, I, I have installed first. Yep, it has been installed. Let's reopen this application. Yep, uh, this is the this DHIS two to Satu Sehat web application that was installed to this two. So the first step to uh, send the the patient data or medical record data that was created before by doctors. We go to template first to create the mapping data that I was uh, introduced in the, the in the slide on the presentation. First, we need to add some title for the data mapping scheme or template, like uh, then we need to uh, select the uh, this dual research. 
uh, for the uh, for this time, we just provide to uh, add to this dual research type organization, organization and event because uh, in this development process, we still need to uh, elaborate our metadata and that uh, support the satu sehat uh, data requirement. So let's test this. Uh, let's test this with event. So we need to select the program from this dua. Uh, for we select the patient registration and select the program state for uh, health service booking. And then we select the the target resort to satu sehat resort. Uh, but in this uh, resort, we provide the JSON simplified structure that uh, provided by the HIS2 to Satu Sehat backend. For the uh, patient booking service data in the Satu Sehat resort, we use encounter resort. After we have select uh, that recurrent field, uh, in the section below, uh, we'll show the requirement, uh, the required uh, JSON simplified structure that we need to map. So for the practitioner and ICA, there, so we need to provide the, uh, the field for uh, doctor's identifier that we that this HIS to uh, to Satu Sehat need to get the doctor's uh, data. So let's just uh, fill the form. For uh, for Nika, we use ID doctors. They are taken from uh, data elements for the from the data fields of events, and then created at from the event created, and then for the satu sehat research web for patient Nika, we use Nika reference, and then. The HIS to OUID, we use our unit from the event. And then the last one is the event ID. We use the event ID. After that, just quit the, just save the mapping. And then we move to the queue. And let's create the new queue here. We need to select the template scan before uh, we have created before let's select this one and the system automatically will uh, show the uh, data method from the his2 to json simplify so to uh, to add this uh, data to send uh, by the his2 so to satu sehat backend we just need to select or check the checkbox in the left side uh, so the system will save this data uh, to send by Q system. After we uh, check data, just save the queue, and then we move to the queue feature. And then the data before that was selected on the create queue will appear here. So to show the details from the how the structure was changed. Just click the show detail here. So we can view the uh, different of uh, JSON Simplify that was converted to uh, to Satu Sehat or a fire uh, JSON structure here. So uh, that is the whole of process of Jumpa Dr. Ecosystem until uh, from patient booking the health service until the HIS to uh, send the patient data to Satu Sehat or file a fair form. So the next is uh, should I uh, show the, the sum of the codes of the programs, Ren? Um, yeah, um, I don't know if there's any questions that are unanswered because Soli is very active in chat. And so thank you for that. Um, mm -hmm. 
Um, that that does save uh, a little bit of time there. I'm not sure if there's any anyone has any questions. Feel free to put them in the chat and get them answered there. Um, I I'd say go ahead to the uh, to the code. Yeah, I think uh, some people might be interested in that. If you have, uh, yeah. Okay. Let me continue to the call, right? Mm, maybe for the first, I will. Uh, yep. I will present the uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile first. Um, yeah, sorry for. Oh, I love the repository here. Mm. Where is the... Yep, it is on. So this is the, the Jumpa Doctor Mobile Code that built by Flutter. Uh, there are some, uh, yeah, we, we know how the Flutter, uh, the Flutter structure for the uh, program. Maybe uh, for the, I will uh, tell about uh, where is the, uh, the state management for the state management for the Flutter. Uh, we use he, the BLOC. Oh, wait, I think we, we use provider here. Yep. Um, maybe Ren, can you recommend me how to hide, how I must uh, describe the coding? Because uh, I don't know how, how I began it. But by the looks of it, it's, it looks very uh, complex application already. Yeah. Um, um, so um, that's a good question. Um, I, I, I'm guessing a lot of people here are interested in in like how you um, and also based on the questions we've saw is it's like the the fire integration itself, but that's not the mobile application if I understand that correctly. Um, but also um, how you manage the data in general. I think that's a good one to look into. I mean, there's no time to to show the entire application. Um, so how do you integrate with DHCS2? Uh, how do you integrate DHCS2 with Fire? Uh, those two topics I think are most interesting to look at. Okay, okay. Uh, how we integrate the, the, the doctor application and the Jumpa doctor mobile uh, application with uh, DHIS2, uh, DHIS2 uh, web? So uh, from the Jumpa Doctor mobile application, we'll connect to API bridge uh, by uh, RESTful API. And then the, let me show the presentation layer. Oh, sorry, the repository maybe. Where is that one? Let me the data. This is the yeah uh, the the codes look like for the REST API integration for from the Jumpa Doctor Mobile with Flutter to API Bridge before. So basically, the API Bridge just uh, just the the middleware uh, between the between the HIS two with Jumpa Doctor Mobile. And just uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile just request the data by uh, the API, uh, the API that follow this dual API. So uh, 
just uh, just uh, the 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 simple the simple way we we integrate with this. So uh, in uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile, just uh, provide one so for middleware. Uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile authentication just uh, use Firebase or uh, one time password for authentication. And uh, after that, uh, the Jumpa Doctor Mobile can connect it with uh, the AIS too. And then um, maybe I will move forward to another uh, API bridge backend. Um, I just wanted to add to to those that didn't see the message in chat. Like, if anyone here has any specific requests to see in the code, now is the time to ask. Of course, um, uh, there's only so much I can think of. Um, and uh, if you're interested in anything from the code, I just speak up in chat, and um, we'll get to that. Thank yeah. you. Uh, let me continue the the presentation. Right? So for the uh, maybe we continue to the API bridge backend. Right? Okay, here another. Yeah, this is the. I think the, the the code is more uh very very complex yeah? because a lot of program or a lot of application that connect with the data is too. So in this uh, the data is to API bridge, we create with Node.js and with uh, Express.js to perform the REST API service. That uh, also this uh, uh, this uh, application integrate with Firebase admin JSON that uh, will use to validate the authentication from Jumpa Doctor Mobile. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, application, Node.js specification, we add some uh, third-party service like ICD-10 API to add the ICD-10 standard for the uh, diagnosis code. And the ICD uh, and the medical record number generators. Also for the uh, FGM for notification to uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile. But uh, if uh, you guys want to view the code, maybe uh, after this I will host uh, or upload this uh, uh, the code whole of Jumpa Doctor code to uh, our GitHub for public. After we remove some uh, some secret file in here, so we can upload that. That's great. Okay, for the data, right? Okay, so for the maintenance, uh, maintenance mode. Where is that? Um, actually, we don't use open him for in this uh, doctor ecosystem. Right. Uh, can you tell me what uh, what you want to show in the maintenance menu? Maybe about uh, our metadata. Maintenance. Okay. Okay. Programming and the sure. <coughs> Okay, for the uh, metadata in here, we have uh, with several programs. Uh, the first program is for patient registration for hot surface. And the second program is for uh, physical assessment. 
The third program is for diagnosis and uh, the fourth program is for health uh, standard operational for uh, serve the patient. And then uh, for the rating, for the program for the doctor. And uh, this one is the new, new program we have created for enhancements to Satu Sehat Connection. This is just for uh, organization look, uh, organization details like uh, follow the, uh, the the organization phone number and the organization location. And then the one we have read is uh, event program for save the uh, Jumpa Doctor Mobile application rating. And then for the Tracking entity, entity type, we just used to uh, track an entity type here for people. And the last one for uh, all location uh, details. And then for the, uh, maybe about the uh, track entity attributes. There are a lot of attributes we have created here, like, uh, uh, patient religion uh, address and uh, patient identifier like uh, NIC or passport and then uh, a doctor uh, address and uh, uh, basically for the doctor profile data and patient profile data And then for data element, maybe uh, also we use data element here to save the uh, electronic medical record data, like uh, the physical assessment uh, result for the human vision and uh, and etc. There are a lot of data, data, data elements here. And then uh, organization unit, maybe. Basically, uh, this is uh, this server. This, uh, this, this server is our uh, development server. So maybe there are a lot of uh, dummy data in here. Um, for the offline mode, we, we still don't. Uh, Try to develop for offline mode teacher, but maybe in the future we can provide it because fully uh, this system connectly online. Uh, some of features uh, can be online, like uh, uh, in Jupa Doctor Mobile we provide the uh, location for patient location for maybe a patient booking for home care service. So the doctor can uh, know the patient location correctly. Mas Ari, can you yep. please uh, answer Cloud Mamo from UIO questions about uh, running the DS2 to fire routinely or do we need to trigger it manually? Um. Because we, after we create the mapping uh, or the queue, uh, maybe not routinely, but the trigger was uh, created uh, after we create the queue by related uh, template scan. So not, uh, not routinely. Um, I, yeah, it's a, it's a lot, right? Um, yeah. And I like I have a I have a question. Um, is um, you you mentioned you were gonna open source some of your repositories? Um, does it include the the Flutter application and the uh, the the app as well uh, that your that that you displayed the the uh, synchronization app between Fire and uh, DHCS? Will you open source those? uh currently for the 
for the data integration uh, still on development or still in mocking uh, mode because we uh, still on enhancement for metadata to support the to uh, clearly complete the requirement data to satu sehat. All right, yeah. Um, but yeah, of course, if you do, when you do open source, it would be great if you post it on the community and uh, let everyone know that uh, that it's there. I got a question from Baruch who sent me a message directly. Uh, is that how do you connect and set up a fire server to connect to DHCS2? Like, is there any logic in your code that um, I... you can show? Or is that too complex to uh, to show? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the credential store, maybe uh, where we uh, save the status of credentials. Uh, uh, basically, we store to the DHIS2 uh, backend to status of database, database that we use, custom database uh, in India, that we store uh, the result of uh, data reference. But uh, that is not implemented yet. So what we have uh, so in here is uh, our progress uh, until now. So that's uh, very uh, much to add. Uh, very a lot of uh, things to add. So sorry for that. All right, so we only have a few minutes left. Um, what what I recommend doing, and, and, and I feel like there's a lot of questions that are unanswered or people have that they even haven't typed yet. Um, this, this, this meetup is recorded. Um, so I will publish this and then put it on the community portal on the, the community of practice. Um, and um, with the video attached to it. And maybe we can continue the conversation there. So if Ari and Saldi are also okay with that, then uh, we can do a conversation over there. Um, there's still some, some time left now to answer one or two questions. Um, but I feel there is like, if you if you looked at the code, it's it's very complex and we've only looked in a couple of repositories. So I can imagine it's, uh, it's a little much to take in. Um, so, and also we can probably share the slides on the community uh, and the COP as well. So that would be good. Um, then there is a, a, a little thing you can claim. I put it in chat right now. You can click the link that I posted in chat if you want to have a badge on the your community of practice profile. Um, um, then you, you get a nice little badge you can show off on your profile that you've attended a developer meetup. So in case you're interested in that, that would be great. And if you already have one, you can collect a second or a third or a fourth. Like you can see it as a uh, achievement for yourself. And uh, um, yeah, so click it and accept it and then um, you will be granted after the meetup. Um, but yeah, if there's any further questions that we can look into or Ari or Saldi, if you have anything um to say that that can wrap this up that would also be good like what what more information are you holding back yep uh, for me maybe that's uh, all that i can uh, i can uh... <laughs> thank you thank you maybe that's uh, all i can uh, tell you guys uh, sorry not tell but uh, that uh, what I can uh, to uh, to share for our progress in this application. Maybe up until this uh, our development was finished and we have uh, we have uh, the code clean more clean and uh, uh, the the system was working well. We can uh, publish in uh, the GitHub or uh, the this dua application uh, application hub that's it maybe masaldi can is there anything else yeah all right uh, i just want to say thank you for the 
the COP committee as well, and also all the participants coming here. It's 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 nice to share to everyone, and also we get so much um, questions and input that we really really consider for the next improvement of our app. So it's it's really meaningful for us, and also I I kudos to Indonesia team. Here we have uh, Rati, we have Yuda, we have Zulkifli. Thanks for the um, uh, good work so far, and hope to uh, get more. Uh, impact to the community and also get more learn from the community. Thank you.